And we're back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast for the New York Force segment, which is going to be talking about some American League All-Stars that I thought were pretty surprising. Some guys that I really did not expect to be talking about as All-Stars when I started it this year. And just going over their seasons, how good they've been, and just how nice of a story it is that they have ended up making this All-Star team. And just, you know, how nice it is that they are having a career as they are. And yeah, I just want to talk about that and, you know, give some positivity to these guys and how well they have ended up performing this year. So first guy I want to talk about here, as you can see on the screen, is going to be from the Boston Red Sox, first of two actually, Jaron Durant. You can see the Red Sox jersey behind me right there. I just added it recently, uh, yesterday if you noticed, and uh, fits well today for talking about the Red Sox, which uh, we are going to be talking about a good amount. So yeah, going into this year, I did not think really much of Jaron Durant. He was really a top prospect in this Red Sox organization for a little while. That had not lived up to standards, had not lived up to being the guy that the Red, so Red Sox fans thought he would be, and he ended up being just a okay player who was, you know, just kind of solid. I mean, look, last year he's pretty good, but I think a lot of people weren't expecting him to really carry it over, and man, has he done that this year. You look at this year so far, 120 weighted runs created plus, same as last year, being consistent. His bad if is a little high, last year was a 381, this year a 337, but again, I've talked about it before. Duran is a fast guy, and fast players are going to have a higher bat than other people, and it's not going to really be a sign of progression because you can beat out those ground balls, you can beat out balls in play, and I think that it's really not something we should look at as something that's fully um, unsustainable. His OPS is at 809, which is only 20 points below last year. His K percentage is down from last year. His walk percentage is up from last year. His K to walk ratio, of course, is up from last year. You look at his barrel percentage, it's up five, it's up four percent from last year, which is fantastic. His hard hit percentage is around the same as last year as well. So his expected Woba and his Woba are basically the exact same. So again, it's not like he's getting fully on on, on, on you know fully lucky and it's unsustainable. No, he's having a really good, really solid, sustainable season for this Red Sox team. It just has become a great player for them, has become their leadoff hitter and just a really nice story for him to be able to come into this All-Star game, being, you know, come into this All-Star game, being a first-time All-Star, really deserving it as well, really representing this surprising Red Sox team that I think he really, um, you know, really represents well because there are a lot of players on this Red Sox team, one we'll be talking about at the end of this segment as well, who we did not expect much from but have been really, really good this year, have been very solid players on this team, and, yeah, just... Very good season for Duran here with this Red Sox team. Very solid and just props to him for how well he's done and uh, happy for him. I think this is a guy that really has worked hard, as Alex Cora said, plays the game the right way, quote unquote. And yeah, it's just been a very solid, good player and someone I really enjoy watching as well. Really nice speed combination at the top of that lineup, plays out, plays center field really well. Next player we're going to be having is maybe the ultimate example of this. From the Cleveland Guardians, David Fry. Now, I talked about this quote before when I was going over the American with when I was going over the All Star Reserves, and David and David Fry said a quote that someone asked him was, "Did you expect to be an All Star this year?" And what David Fry answered was, "Yes, a Triple A one." So obviously, it shows this is not something on his radar. But Fry was a guy who came over in a very very small trade with Milwaukee a few years ago. The Guardians were just adding catching depth to their team, and Fry was a good catcher that you know could hit decently well in the minor leagues. And man, he has just absolutely exploded with this Guardians team, become one of the huge, one of the biggest reasons why they have been so as good as they have been. I mean, you're looking at him this year; his way to runs created plus is 155, 155. As a guy who plays catcher in DH, that's insane. I mean, that's incredible numbers you look at his weighted runs created plus against lefties it's at 201 201 what what happens there i mean how does that happen is he has 74 at bats as well it's not it's not exactly like he's you know not facing lefty it's not like it's a small sample size no it's crazy so just an amazing amazing season for fry has become, again, one of the big reasons why this Guardians team has done so well this year, why they have exceeded so many people's expectations for them, and man, just, he's been so, so fantastic. 
has been a huge part of this team, has been a huge piece of this hitting core, has become a fantastic designated hitter for them, and just, man, what a player he has been for this team. So, so fantastic, and yeah, overall, just an amazing, amazing player for this Guardians team. What a story. As I said before, this is why baseball is the best sport. Who would have thought that a guy like David Fry would be in an all-star team? Incredible. Going over our third segment here. Sorry, our third player here, not third. You should just saying segment. It'll be from the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, Tyler Anderson. Now, I've talked about Anderson before as well, doing a whole segment on him and some trade rumors, but Anderson was a guy who really revitalized his career with the Dodgers a few years ago, signing a one-year deal. Leveraged that into a big three-year deal with the Angels after his great season and was so bad last year in the first year of his deal that he was placed on waivers by the Angels and no team wanted to pick him up even though they could have had him for free because they didn't want his contracts. That's how bad he was. So, yeah, um, Anderson has really rebounded from that, has become a fantastic, fantastic player for this Angels team, um, has had amazing, amazing stats this year. Has His ERA is significantly under three. It's been amazing and just, yeah, it's been has turned himself into one of the biggest trade chips at this deadline. Has become truly an incredible player. And, man, what a, what a surprising all-star. I really did not expect him to have as good of a season he's having this year. Has been so fantastic with this Angels team. Has been just, um, again, I can't really think of any other words that describe how good he's been. But I really did not expect him to have a good a year. I just thought it was another bad contract given out by the Angels. And, man, he's been so, so good. Such a big part of this Angels team, even though they stink. And such a such a great addition to this rotation. And some teams can be happy to have him at this trade deadline. And yeah, what a nice season he's had. You know, what a great, great season. Going into our fourth final player here. It is also from the he is also from the Boston Red Sox, but this time a pitcher. Tanner Houck. Tanner Houck, I mean, man, what a season he has had for this Red Sox team. Again, a guy that I thought was just kind of mediocre, like a lot of this Red Sox team, like I thought Jaron Duran was. A guy that I thought, you know, had some potential as a younger player, but never really is going to live up to it, was just going to be an okay, decent, solid player for the Red Sox for the rest of his career, doing really nothing too significant or nothing special. But, man, is he absolutely broken out for this team this year. One of the biggest reasons why they're firmly in this playoff race and just had an amazing, amazing season with this team. You look at the year so far he's had, Two eight uh two six eight ERA, eighteen games started. He's for hundred and eleven innings already more than last year. Over hundred strikeouts already already more than last year. K percentages up from last year. Walk percentage significantly down from last year, which is one of the biggest concerns I like a lot of people had for him. His FIP is the exact same as his ERA, which is insane. I mean, you look at some other peripheral stats as well. You know, going a little bit deeper on it. Is expected ERA is 3.79, which is really not that bad. So a lot to like here. Again, his FIP is the exact same. So he's really not getting that unlucky by some stats. And I just think that he's had an amazing, amazing season. Has become, honestly, an ace-level pitcher for this Red Sox team. And it's just, yeah, it's just become such a fantastic player for this Red Sox team. So, so good. I mean, really. And, man, just... Such a good addition, this Red Sox young core. They are surprising a lot of people with how well they've played this year. This young core, again, has really surprised a lot of people, and nobody expected them to be in the playoff race this year. I don't even think Red Sox fans did. I did not expect them to. And I you know, I kept giving them crap for not signing a big starting pitcher, but when you have when you have guys playing as well as Tanner Houck, I don't really think you need to. So yeah, just a great season by by Houck and a great season by this Red Sox team and yeah, what an incredible breakout season for him. I did not expect him to do this well. So, yeah, that is our fourth segment here going over some surprising all-stars in the American League. Just to recap, we have from the Boston Red Sox, Jaron Duran. From the Cleveland Guardians, David Fry. From the Los Angeles Angels, Tyler Anderson. And from the Boston Red Sox, once again, Tanner Houck. Moving on to our fifth and final segment here. We were doing the same exact thing, though, for the National League. Oh, sorry. Uh... There it is, going over some talented all-stars for the National League. And, uh, yeah, just going over those guys and giving my thoughts on them and just the amazing season that they've had. So, yeah, going over that, and we'll see you after the break. So thanks and bye.